Ready for a Dracula deck with a twist? This version adds War Machine to the mix, giving you flexibility to play anywhere while adding a touch of control. Let's see how this unique combo changes the game. Dracula's ability is at the end of the game, you discard a card in your hand to gain that card's power. To take advantage of that, we have both Red Hulk and Infinite. War Machine also allows us to play out Infinite if we need to, and also Ebony Maw on later turns. Hope Summers can give us extra energy on the last turn to play additional cards. Cards like Wasp, Nebula, Echo for a little bit of control, and Nightcrawler allow you to keep your hand empty so you can target what card Dracula discards. We have yeah. for a little bit of utility and round out the deck with Shang-Chi. Here are two additional versions we have. One is the budget version, and there is also a weekend version I created. I have multiple ways to get all this extra energy and be able to play a lot of cards on your last turn. Or potentially even play both Dracula and War Machine super early, courtesy of Wasp as well, and you play a bunch of movers into Hope Summer's Lane. It, it gets a little crazy, but this is also a fun version for me. So I'm throwing it in there as well. Okay, broken. Clearly you can see Uatu is in my deck. So let's use his ability. Asteroid M is middle, and Thunderbolt's tower is right. We are going up against a super collection level player. I like my odds. I will go Goose middle. Gotta run, hun. I probably should have gone Goose left, I wasn't thinking. <laughs> I'm not used to playing with Uatu. End my turn, and I think it's just fill up middle as fast as possible. Get down Dracula. Okay, they have all the cards they need. There is Uatu. And I think it is just this. We soak a bunch. And depending on where we need power, or I get it down now. No. Let's continue to soak. I have priority, so just in case they have. Just in case they have Dracula, let's play down the Echo. And soak five. Can you understand me? Okay, they get their infinite down. And now it is just where do they stack their power? And it is Hella, so it is just going to be a pure gamble. If Magneto appears with Dracula and War Machine, it's just all a gamble. So we will just, I mean, <laughs> they probably play Hella left just to be able to win that lane outright. So, I mean, I guess I just do this. Who the heck knows? Yeah, there's the Hella that there. And we'll just roll the die. Minions to me. We are the future. And it is not going to be enough. <laughs> we we played the Hella Casino and we came out on top with the budget deck. That's all Hella is. Victory. It's just a gamble for both players because i was decently positioned you see how important soaking that sunspot was i did not play the red hulk or infinite on turn five instead i soaked and it mattered and elysium of course mattered as well but me soaking really mattered and 
it was just where was their Magneto going to spawn, honestly, and hoping it wasn't in a too disruptive of a spot in combination, like if Death had spawned middle or Black Hat, we lose. So yeah, just the pure on gamble, but you do get to see the power output that this deck can produce. 25 and 27 in two lanes and a, a good showing. Okay, Kayak Zook. Asteroid M, so let's plug that up so I can position my cards. They have 23 cards in their deck on turn one. That is clearly Erisham. Next turn is going to be Jeff left. And I'm not sure what I want to follow it with. Okay, it will be War Machine. I am very close to snapping. My best draw is Hope, probably. Because then I can play Hope next turn, War Machine, and then I can position the Dracula where I want him to be. Invisible Woman. And the Vault? Oh, say it ain't so. Let's put Sunspot here? No. Sunspot here because I need to position, be able to position my cards. Ugh. Okay, well, there is that. Now I draw into Hope. Hmm. Do I play Hope now? Let's see, let's see. This is the turn I want to snap on. Oh! Now I definitely snap. Perfect. War Machine and Wasp, that would be eight energy next turn. If I decide to do that, this is six, this gets me to 15. I'll hold. I'll see what uh, what they're doing. So yeah, that gets me into the vault with a huge Red Hulk or Infinite. I mean, I think I just do this and this. I can't move because the move activates first and I need Dracula to stay put. Is there a reason for doing it this way or the other? I don't think so. I think this is fine. Yeah, okay. They just retreated later. Victory. So this is a good showing of how this deck can perform, especially with somewhat control locations and there's plenty of control locations being able to get down war machine is just of course fantastic into that they knew it that's why they retreated later they were blocked left no way to get additional points here of course a blue marvel could but it's always unlikely that erisham is going to have any specific card they are limited in what they can play in the big house so i just forced them to play something which they have to and we just put all our power middle. That way, just think, I don't even think there's anything it can do with big house. It's just playing a big card in the big house, honestly. So we were just too well positioned. Easy game. Okay, next up we have Victor. We, with this version, the Wiki, Wiccan version, you always wanna play Kitty Pride first. So that is what we will do. They have eight cards in their deck on turn one. They are a normal deck. The hub. 
And now we will play Kitty and Sunspot. Getting the Hulk from the hub is fantastic. We have gotten both of those down. Now do we have a turn three play? We actually do. Ah. But it would require me to lose Bar with no name to keep the Wiccan hope alive. If we had Wiccan, maybe that's what I would do. But we do not. So I will just get down War Machine. Next, probably. I'm, I'd probably wait for the Dracula. Dracula is susceptible to interference. We drew into Wiccan. <laughs> get War Machine down now. Leave the Nightcrawler in case this is a junk deck. It might be Mr. Negative. It might be... Wong. Okay. What is your play with Wong? I will get Wiccan down along with Kitty. Since I have seven turns, let's see. It is a Mr. Negative deck. Five cards and five cards. They haven't drawn what they needed. So therefore, I am going to snap. Get down Dracula. Okay. This is an example of once you assess what your opponent's deck is, to snap into that if they are not executing their game plan. So that is one avenue of snapping and retreating that you you have to consider. It's not just about how your deck is performing, it's also about how your opponent's deck is performing. And we were just going to put out a lot of power. And yes, Bar With No Name res is restrictive, but it also restricts them, and they're running out of space quick. So we were, we were in a decent enough position, especially with their game plan not executing how they want it to. Okay, next up we have Maverick. First location is Mojo World, second location Asteroid M, and then Sacred Timeline. Do I want copies? No. So I will play Sunspot Middle. U.S. Agent. I had priority, so playing Echo over there would have been nice. I think I'm still playing e fine playing Echo here. This is an Arishem deck, and this is an Arishem card. Get down Nightcrawler middle to continue to have more control over where Asteroid M pulls my cards. Playing out a naked Phoenix Force deck, a Phoenix Force card. That is a choice. This is why you never play your cards into Asteroid M. I have just demonstrated <laughs> why you do not do that. Because it would have slid under. That is funny. I mean, can they play three cards left? That's all this it is. Do one of these numbers? It's not a lot of points left, but they've kind of hurt them. They can play those many cards, okay. So yeah, they almost assuredly win. <laughs> Victory. Good old US agent.
it didn't it didn't make a difference they probably had no other cards and so they 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 were banking on filling and us not being able to fill a one point win is a one point win now of course playing orca left would have made it much more comfortable the way they went but i kind of had to hedge and just trust that they wouldn't have enough to fill or even if they did playing a high cost card clearly uh, wasn't going to help them much and it actually hurt them in this case and and we got out of here with the budget versions okay next up we have true slayer a okay starting hand asteroid m on the left we get extra energy next turn and the wrath so, do you have a Watu as well? <laughs> Let's try to fill the raft. And I don't have any of my small cost cards when I actually could use them. We will hold on to Wasp. Wind, aid okay. My hand. We need to draw into... What's his face? You are snapping here. So is this a nebula play? This might be a nebula play. A doom play? Are you going to fill here is the question. I cannot fill this turn. Okay, you cannot fill either. So I think we're pretty well positioned. They can't move any cards out. Unfortunately, we did not draw into... Oh, let me not stop myself with the goose. Uh, does it matter? I think I'm fine with this. Let's see what I draw into. An Eliath. There is the War Machine. Unfortunately, we do not have our War Machine. Who has priority? They have priority. So they can play an infinite and something else. Hmm. Orca here. Eliath here? That's eh, worth it. Let's let's roll can you understand me? and see. Ugh. Sean Middle. Sean Middle. Sean Middle. The the infinite here was always going to be overkill. So this is poor this is poor reading on my part. They were never going to play the infinite left. That's way too much power left. You know you're gonna win left. They had priority. I always should have played Sean Middle. I play Wasp and Sean Middle and echo get all of them out of my hand and then i play either i guess orca it doesn't even matter what i play right and then dracula takes that additional power they were always going to play infinite middle and i should have properly anticipated that I see all. okay next up we have globals strange academy first location Second location is unknown and Kim. I think we are fine. They are Arisham, as their avatar suggests. Okay, turn one Loki. They did not snap. They have gotten defeated when they have turn one Loki. <laughs> uh, let's go Nightcrawler middle. It doesn't much matter. Avengers! Assemble. And then... 
I think I will want to play Dracula middle. Get the Echo down. Okay, their last turn. Uh, I think I play War Machine over here instead. And the Dracula... ...can go over into Strange Academy? Or do I take out the Orca now? I take out the Orca now. And then I just see what happens next turn. They have priority too. So maybe they play another big cost card left. They do not. Power they full skip turn five. Okay. So we win right. And this is just kind of perfect. They can't. They can't uh, Eliath me. So now it's just doing this. Do I move the Nightcrawler? No, I'll keep the Nightcrawler in case those things die and I need to win a tiebreaker. But I don't see how... Because I have priority. If they want to Shawn me, they can. Shadow King, who cares? Uh, Red Guardian gets me. But then I just have to hope a um, card sticks middle and then they have to play for middle, which they do. But they also don't know what I'm playing left. Perfect. <laughs> Executed perfectly. None of my cards died. Full on casserole. All three lanes. And this came together fantastic. Dracula. Nobody's going to expect Dracula on a last turn play, clearly. They played their Sean, who they brought in their deck. Or maybe that's my Sean, courtesy of Loki. Who the heck knows? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, Dracula is, of course, Shang-Chi proof. Nice, clean win across the board. The locations, of course, helped. But locations are annoying, and War Machine helps to grease those wheels. And a nice, solid win against an Airsham player. Okay, now it's off to editing the footage that I've recorded. I recorded with three different decks, technically four, because my original budget version that I was using had Red Hulk in it, and I had to replace him with Orca. So I don't know if I included any of those games or not. But this deck, of course, you, has interchangeable pieces. All three of these decks do. The Wiccan version, of course, is super high roll. This budget version on screen right now is going to be the most accessible for a lot of the players, especially if when this video, at the time of this video's release, War Machine was in the spotlight cache, so a lot of players potentially get their hands on War Machine. There is, of course, the super meta Storm, War Machine, and Legion deck, so if you want to go full-on meta, knock yourself out, that's the version to use. But I wanted to explore a different side, a different type of deck with him, I'm pairing him with Dracula in a different type of Dracula dump deck and marrying those two worlds made sense to me. Thank you to all the members of the channel. Thank you to everybody who's made it to the end of the video. And now it's time for bonus clips. <laughs> that is not a good draw. And I have priority. Victory. <laughs> uh, that's why you retreat later. A wasp, okay. Fantastic. <laughs> and we are clearly going up against. I am ego, and this is I my mean, domain. we snap on ego, right? So snap. <laughs> Victory. Uh, nine energy. I mean, I just get an infinite down and a kitty. 
and then I just have options because it's going to go into I can make it go into tiebreaker as well. So Sunspot is in the deck as well to soak up some of this extra energy too. Oh, oh look at this. So happy. And I lost track of what turn it was. <laughs> ah. Victory. 